time this morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm Jerry Manick, Interim Chair of the Vermont Committee for the Employer Support of Garden Reserve. Welcome to the signing ceremony for Governor Scott's proclamation supporting ESGR in Vermont. Before I introduce Dave Wheel, our Executive Director, uh, I'd like to announce that Mr. Charles Martin, Government Affairs Director for the Vermont Chamber of Commerce, has officially accepted the chair position for our committee. Charles could not be with us today, but we'd like to publicly thank him for his commitment. Dave? Thank you, Jerry. Good morning, everybody, and thanks for making time for us. Governor, thanks for making time for us. Um, this week, our, our nation honors the civilian employers of Guard and Reserve members who, in doing so, contribute greatly to our national defense. Since 1972, ESGR, with its strategic partner, Partners has worked to assist employers in understanding the value of employing a member of the Guard and Reserve and recognizing the support these employers provide. In Vermont, we are very fortunate that we have so many employers of our citizen warriors who not only do what's required, but also provide extraordinary support above and beyond what is required by law. National Life Group, represented by Director of Benefits Michelle Granitz, such an organization and has done so over many years. And it's also very appropriate to recognize that National Life Group was uh, one of the earliest recipients of the Freedom Award, the Secretary of Defense Freedom Award, the highest award that a civilian employer can, can receive. This year, Kerry Dr. Pepper was our nominee for the Freedom Award, and unfortunately no one from that organization could join us. Uh, I do want to recognize, though, Jason Patno from Alliance Group Incorporated, uh, who is president and owner, and is representing the company today. And thank you, Jason, for making the trip down. Uh, I'd like to recognize a few other folks who are here today with us. Uh, Mr. Dan Pipes, who is representing Adjutant General uh, Greg Knight. And Dan is the executive director for the Vermont Military Department. He'll speak briefly in a few minutes. Uh, Senior Chief uh, Petty Officer Richard Bomber, Senior Enlisted Advisor from the Na Naval Operations Support Center in White River Junction. We're also very fortunate to have several of our strategic uh, members here today uh, from the U.S. Small Business Administration. Uh, Chris Harriman, who is our uh, the Veterans Business Development Officer, who we work very closely with, and Brian DeClue, uh, Loan Rep Relations Specialist. And also Vermont Department of Labor, Commissioner Lindsay Curley. Thank you for joining us today, Commissioner. And Veteran Services Coordinator Larry Forsyth. Also present are a number of our Vermont ESGR volunteers. Uh, unfortunately, my colleague Linda Fowler, who works full time, is under the weather and couldn't make it today. This week, the President signed the National Employer Support of the Guard and Reserve Week proclamation. On Friday, the top 15 employers nationwide will be recognized as the, national, as the national finalist for the prestigious Secretary of Defense Freedom Award. So today we have asked Governor Scott to sign a similar document, proclaiming this to be Vermont Employer Support of the Guard and Reserve Week, and thanking and reaffirming how critical our supportive employers are to our citizen soldiers, airmen, sailors, and Marines. Uh, before he signs that, uh, Dan Pipes, I'd invite you to say a few words. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate it. Governor? Good morning. Thanks for your taking the time to be here and for your support. On behalf of, of General Knight, who just returned from northern, the Republic of Northern Macedonia, I, I want to just emphasize and reiterate that we could not do this without you. Uh, at, at the end of the day, the employers that, that support our guardsmen and everything, that we, we understand it's a big ask, but we ask of you. Uh, and, and we do appreciate your, your ongoing support. It comes down to communication. So if you have questions or concerns, um, and these things do arise, please let us know early and often, and we'll address them head on. So that's pretty much all I have for you. Thanks again for your time. Sir. Yeah. All yours, sir. All right. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to ask everyone to come up, um, because you, uh, you deserve a lot of credits for everything you've done uh, and everyone uh, who's here. If you could come up, up and uh, be a part of this. 
as well. If you'd like to come up as <laughs> representative <laughs> to Claire. <laughs> so thank you all for being here today. And uh, thank you, David and Jerry, uh, for the introduction. We all owe so much uh, to those who serve our state as well as our country. Those who put themselves on the line so we can live safely here at home deserve nothing but our respect and our gratitude. I believe it's our responsibility as civilians, government, and businesses to do whatever we can to ensure our service members can thrive in the workforce. And the fact is, we benefit tremendously by employing these men and women. I talk a lot about workforce issues. It's one of the greatest challenges we face here in the state because there are still about 13,000 fewer people working today than we had in 2009. It's the number one concern I hear from employers across the state. What I also hear is veterans and members of the Guard and Reserves are some of the most reliable and most productive employees in the workforce. That's why my administration has worked with the Guard, the legislature, and others on initiatives like licensing, reciprocity. So when members of the military and veterans apply for civilian licenses, they're recognized for the experience and skills gained while serving. Vermont is a leader on that front, so it can be used as a recruiting tool for our guard and for vets looking toward a second career. I've also proposed uh, eliminating the tax on military retirement pay, another critical recruitment tool. Although the legislature hasn't uh, gone along with this as of yet, we'll continue to work on this in the next legislative session. But probably the most important thing for our reserve component service members is knowing they have an employer who is understanding, eager to accommodate their needs, and get the most of their experience. That's why I can't thank the ESGR, uh, ESRG committee members, uh, the employers, and others enough for being here and supporting the fine men and women who serve our nation. And with that, I'd like to read today's proclamation before signing it. Whereas, National Guard and Reserve Forces comprise nearly half of our nation's military strength and are essential to America's national security. And whereas, Reserve Component Forces stand ready to answer the call to serve, whether serving alongside active duty counterparts all across the globe or responding to humanitarian crises at home and abroad. Whereas employers provide critical support to members of the National Guard and Reserve Forces, allowing our citizen warriors to serve whenever the nation calls, often foregoing financial gain, being separated from loved ones, and making other personal sacrifices in the process. And whereas employer support is stronger than ever, more than 47 years after President Nixon authorized the Secretary of Defense to establish the National Committee for Employer Support of the Guard and Reserve, and whereas our nation is in debt to the citizen warriors departing the comforts of home to ensure our freedoms remain intact. And whereas America plays special, uh, pays special tribute to the commitment of dedicated and supportive employers who continue to make service in the reserve component possible. Now, therefore, I, Philip B. Scott, Governor, hereby proclaim August 19th to 23rd, 2019, as Vermont Employer Support of the Guard and Reserve Week. And with that, I'll sign the proclamation. And the support of the Guard. We're also asking the Governor to sign this with the employer statement of support. Absolutely. So, if you want to come around <laughs> this part, <laughs> makes for a great picture. Come right on in. Come yeah, squeeze come on in. in. As we say, make your buddy smile. Right. It's, a big, <laughs> it's a big family. Hey, Jerry, <laughs> you should be right back here. Oh, we're good. Come on over. Okay. I need a stool. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Thank you very much. 
Thanks very much uh, for your commitment. You. It means a lot to, to all of us, uh, as well as uh, those who, who you employ. So thank you. Thank you for your service. Appreciate it. See you. Thanks again, sir.